Welcome back to Crime Door TV, I'm Sydney Schofield. It's time now to take a trip back in crime history. On September 15, 1971, 10-year-old Ursula Herman was visiting her cousin when her mom called to tell her it was time to come home. The girl left her cousin's house on her bike, but never made it home. The family received strange calls and a ransom note, demanding hundreds of thousands of dollars. Meanwhile, police and volunteers searched for the young girl. Her bike was found the night she went missing, but it would take 19 more days before anyone would find Ursula. Her body was found locked inside a wooden box and buried in a nearby forest. Police said it looked like the kidnappers planned to keep Ursula alive. Inside the box, they found water, candy, several books, a light, a radio, and a very poorly designed ventilation system. The size and weight of the box made police believe they were looking for more than one kidnapper. Days after her body was found, police received an anonymous call telling them to, quote, make sure to take care of Werner. This led police to one of Ursula's neighbors, Werner Mazurek. Police knew he was in debt. One witness telling police the kidnapping was a way for Werner to, quote, bring in a few million. But he had an alibi for the night Ursula vanished, allowing the case to go cold. In 2007, more than 30 years later, investigators took another look at the case and started following Werner. Evidence taken from his home helped prosecutors build a case. He was arrested, charged, and convicted of kidnapping resulting in death. Ursula's family had mixed feelings about the evidence and the conviction. Her brother Michael told reporters he was not convinced Werner was the kidnapper and, quote, now we have a verdict, but no perpetrator. Warner is now serving a life sentence and continues to deny any involvement in the kidnapping and death of Ursula Herman.